Like most of you, there's only one thing I care about in my life, and it's my Discord server. So of course I want to protect it from raids and nukes. And that's what I'm going to teach you, duh, that's what the title says, goodness. Anyways, I'm going to tell you what a raid is real quick. A raid is basically when a whole bunch of random bot accounts join your server, and they either spam a whole bunch of hate, or they DM all your members with free cryptocurrency scams, which uh, is really annoying to deal with. So I'm going to teach you how to prevent that. But what I'm also going to show you is, imagine your Discord server looking all nice and pretty, and it gets nuked. Everything's gone. All your channels are gone. All your members got banned. Your big massive server is now, like everyone else's server, uh, dead. So I'm going to start off with teaching you how to prevent raids first because preventing nukes is a little more work and I know most of you are lazy and you'd probably click off my video. So I'm trying to increase my watch time. To start off, we need to go to the first two links in the description. You will see bmo.gg. Just click browse tiers and add the free version to your server. Add it to your server, and in the second link in the description, you will see BMO Helper, which will uh, uh, help BMO, duh. All right, so I added BMO and BMO Helper to my server, and first off, there's one very important thing we need to do. We need to type in a slash prefix space equals. Now you want to make sure that there's no bot commands that pop up. It's just as if you're sending a normal message. And that's because BMO's prefix is slash help, but it doesn't have slash commands. It's a, it's a little goofy. But anyways, once you enter that in, BMO's going to be like, yo, what's up? You want to change it? Yes, sir. That was really cringy. But anyways, now your prefix should be equal sign. So you can do equal sign help and press enter. And now BMO is going to send you a message on what to do. But you're watching a video tutorial and I'm pretending I know what I'm doing. So let's continue on. Right click and create a new channel. And we are going to call this BMO dash logs. Then we want to make it a private channel. Click on next. Then we want to add BMO and BMO helper to these channels so that they can actually log in this channel. Now go back to your general channel and we need to do equal sign anti spam space log log space hashtag BMO logs then press enter and we want to confirm what we're doing and once you do that you need to type in slash then we need to go to BMO helper and it says config action log set we need to click on that and for our channel click on BMO logs and press enter and kaboom now both of these logs are in BMO logs so whenever you get rated BMO will be like yo what's up we just got rated but I stopped all of it and now the last thing you have to do is you have to go to your server settings go to roles and make sure BMO is just underneath kind of your moderator and Dino stuff. Dino should technically be up at the top, but BMO Helper and BMO should be right underneath your staff roles. Just make sure that BMO is above everything and underneath your staff roles. Then click Save Changes, and guess what? You set up anti-raid. Anyways, uh, it should prevent a lot of raids, but it's not 100% foolproof. Sometimes raids can go through, but this is a really good way at preventing low-effort raids. Now it's time for the hard part. We need to set up anti-nuke. So to prevent people from getting a 25 kill streak and blowing up your server, we actually need to go to the third link in the description and we are getting wick now whoa, 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 whoa hold on there wick actually had a new version that released so it's almost idiot proof at this point like it's actually really easy to set up so i'll log you through it click on invite make sure you invite the bot to this server brother then click authorize make sure you know the, the discord thinks you're a human being although i'm half robot once again that wasn't funny but now we have the setup wizard all you need to do is click on start wizard so what you need to do is click on start automatic setup it's gonna do all these computery stuff awesome now it says looks like you are good to go so i'm gonna click on continue and this is miscellaneous so you can select a prefix for wick i'm going to do just w exclamation mark because it's default whoa whoa hold on here I'm getting offended. Just kidding. Click next. Then we need to enable slash commands. Just enable it. It's it's easy. And slash commands are kind of the future at this point. Next. Compact mode. Basically, if you don't want WIC to show a paragraph and a half, depending on, you know, the person you banned, you can click minify and it'll make it smaller. I think having all this detail is great. So next. And it's going to ask where do you want to put your logs. You can put it in WIC logs or you can just clear out the channel and it will create a log channel for you. In this case, it already created WIC logs. So I'm just going to go with the default. Click on next. Now next up is mod logs. Once again, just click on the default, leave it as is. You can customize it if you want. It's pretty straightforward. Now next up, we need to select main roles. And this is basically kind of like your verified or member role. If you already have one on your server, then just select it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a verified role so that people need to verify to actually join the server. So I'm going to go to roles, create role. Then I'm going to call this verified, then click on save changes, go to my everyone permissions and make sure that they cannot view channels, then go to my verified role and make sure they can. Then once you do that, just go back to display, scroll down and click view server as role. So if you're verified, this is how the server should look. 
And if I go and just disable verified, I can't see the server, which is good. Look, we did it. It's that easy. Just kidding. There's a little bit more to it, but we'll do that later on when we go through the Wix setup. I also noticed that I have premium membership. <laughs> this is a bug. So anyways, I created the role. We need to go back to our Wix setup and just click on refresh server real quick. Then click select main role and you should be able to see verified. If you can't, then refresh the page. <laughs> Whoa, goodness, what is going on? Anyways, that was weird, but uh, just make sure you go through the wizard again. If you land on this page, just click on wizard, click start wizard. You might just have to kind of burn through it real quick. But once you get back to the main roles, then all you need to do is just make sure you select that verified role and now click next. Now the next option is auto mod. And honestly, I would enable this and just get rid of your other auto mod if you have one. For example, I have Dino on this server. I think Wix auto mod and kind of like mute and warn system is pretty good. And I think if you just stick with learning Wick, it'll make it a lot easier to manage Wick, which I think is a better skill than learning Dino. So in this case, I'm gonna say bye-bye Dino, adios, we're sticking with Wick. And now you can also moderate invite links, which I think you should enable, filter out NSFW links, I would enable unless your server focuses on that, and filter out malicious and scam links, enable that. And clicking next, you will see enable anti-spam, enable anti-spam, and you can just go through these options. I would honestly just enable every single one because most of these are really annoying but if you have some quirky server then you can disable a couple of these if you want i'm gonna click on next then there's webhook coverage and i'd honestly just leave this enabled and finally this is where we're at baby the anti-nuke status so enable it now we have a whole bunch of these options honestly i would uh, just keep the ones on that are on you can't turn on the webhook stuff which kind of sucks that's a premium feature but whatever just make sure it's enabled because this is kind of the reason why we're adding wick the anti-nuke it's part of the title you see there's a connection here anyways click on next and now we have a quarantine now wick's quarantine system has been a, a huge jumble of crazy stuff so i'm just going to break it down real easy basically if one of your admins decides to give like everyone admin permissions then wick will notice that it will actually revert the change so it'll make sure that everyone doesn't have admin anymore but it'll also punish that admin by putting them in quarantine basically stripping them of permissions and not allowing them to talk or do anything on the server anyways you have these options here just enable every single one of them now next up is spam whitelist and spam whitelist very much varies depending on your server if you have a server where you like people spamming then you probably should have disabled spam but what you can do is make it so that specific members can spam or specific roles so i think uh, admins and and moderators should be able to spam and if you have a spam channel then you can select your spam channel so maybe like game chat or something same thing with categories you can pick a spam category and webhooks are webhooks you already know what you're doing if you're using webhooks now next there's invite link whitelist so if you have some sort of self-advertising channel this is where you select that channel so self-advertising wherever it is in your text channels and if you want your specific members like you have some sort of vip role where people can self-advertise then you want to enable those roles. Also enable your admin and moderator because they might need to send an invite once in a while. And just if you had no idea what a whitelist is, it's basically you're giving people permission to break past the auto moderator. If they're on the whitelist, the auto mod's like, oh, I don't see what you're doing. Hee <laughs> hee, you're spamming? Well, you're on the whitelist, so you can do it. Anyways, that should have been broken down enough where almost anyone could understand it, even Coco Melon fans. Now there's ping whitelist, and honestly, I would only select any of your staff member roles, so admin and moderator because anyone that has a whitelist on this probably will use it at some point to just spam ping a whole bunch of people. It's really annoying, so just make sure it's your admin and moderator. Then click next. And the everyone whitelist, now let me tell you something. Everyone pings suck, so uh, make sure no one can use it. So I'm gonna click on next because I think everyone pings are annoying. Now, this is very, very important. If you have some sort of bot that automatically creates channels or voice channels, so for example, if I go to my server, we have some sort of like voice channel click to create thing what you want to do is you want to whitelist that on this specific page here channel creation whitelist and that's where you select a category so if you have a ticket bot you want to select tickets category but if you have a voice channel bot then you want to select whatever category your voice channels in in this case on my little temporary server i don't have anything but i'll just select voice channels for now once again if you have a ticket bot make sure you whitelist the ticket category that's so the bot can actually create channels and wick won't go all crazy and try to blow up your ticket bot so click on next and now we have quarantine whitelist now to understand this quarantine whitelist i just need 
need to explain how quarantine works a little bit more. Basically, if someone gets quarantined and another user tries to like add more permissions to the person that's in quarantine, then the person adding permissions will get put in quarantine as well. So it kind of like spreads out and it's supposed to be kind of like casting a net against anyone that's trying to nuke your server. So for this quarantine whitelist, you just want to select people or bots that automatically give roles. So for example, if you had like Carlbot giving self roles or something like that, then you want to make sure that you add them to this whitelist. In this case, I only have Wick on my server, but let's say my BMO bot, if I go back to my server, let's say BMO bot was some sort of bot that automatically gave roles. Then what I need to do is just go to my user settings, go to advanced, make sure developer mode is enabled. Then I can right click on BMO and click copy ID. Then we go back to the Wix setup. I can paste an ID and click add. And now we added BMO as a user and we need to click on it and kaboom. Now we added our self role bot or whatever bot automatically adds roles. It, it says it right here, okay? Anyways, that bad boy's done. So click on next. And now we have join gate. Now join gate is basically Wix saying, yo, you're a suspicious account or whatever filters you have, you're not allowed in this server. I would definitely enable this to prevent raids, but also to prevent nukes, because what usually happens is that one of your admins either gets hacked or they just don't like you and they will add a bot to your server, a malicious nuking bot to your server, and then they'll give it admin permissions and that bot will just completely annihilate your server. So having a join gate prevents WIC from, once again, target bots that are added by unauthorized members. So it can kick bots that just randomly get added. Then you can also target accounts that are younger than a specified time frame. This is a fantastic way of preventing really low effort raids. However, the caveat is, is that if you have a server that promotes a lot of new Discord users, then this might automatically ban them and prevent them from joining your server. So it's kind of a fine balance between what is the minimum account age. I would never go below one day. However, I would never go above seven days. At this point, I'm just going to leave it as one day so people don't get angry if anyone's just brainlessly following along. Now, next up is target accounts that have no profile pictures. This, you might think, is like, oh, that's kind of stupid, but it can be extremely helpful. Going back to that raid I was talking about in my mod logs, oh goodness, wherever it was, there we go. Most of the people that raided my server had no profile picture. So if I had this enabled, then uh, that raid wouldn't have happened. So it's up to you if you want to enable or disable it. I am going to enable it. Next up is target Discord unverified bots added by anyone. This is a good permission to have if you have like a really big server. However, if you have a custom bot that you're adding to your server, chances are it's not verified. So this is a case by case basis. I'm going to enable it. And the next option, target accounts, just enable that. It's just invite links and usernames. Now, target accounts WIC deems suspicious. I personally would leave this disabled because sometimes WIC can have some false positives and I think this should be handled differently. Not just, oh, well, you seem suspicious, get off my server. Target accounts that have certain usernames, this is basically just if they had like racist words in their names. So you can add strict words, like if someone had a racist word in their name, if their name was racist word, then they would be kicked out of the server. Now there's wildcard words, which are basically if their username contains one of these words, then they will be banned. So this would be like, if I wanted to ban someone that said racist word, if I just put in the word racist, then what would happen is that anyone that had racist word or racist name or something like that, they would also be kicked from the join gate. Anyways, moving on, there's join rate. It's premium. Most of you are broke, so we're clicking on next. Now, this is the verified channel, and honestly, this is something I suggest everyone enabling on their server. So click enable verification. Now you have a couple of verification modes. Now there's a lot that's going on in here, but basically the website is very dynamic. So if you click on verify, it'll like kind of show you what happens. So just pick whatever you want. Just keep in mind that sometimes like brew captcha is very weak. So I would stick with website because it looks fancy. Basically, they get sent to the Wick website. They click on I am a human and kaboom, they're all good to go. Now, once you do that, you actually do need to save your changes so that you can click on this setup channel button. And once you do that, whoa, what new channel was created? Let's see. Kaboom. Verify here channel. Now, the thing with this verify here channel is we need to make sure that everyone can see it. Because remember, if I go to my server settings and I go to roles and I go to verified, and view server as a verified member, they don't see the verified channel. However, if I do disable the verified role, so now I'm just any new member joining the server, they will only see the verify here channel, which is good. That means Wick automatically set it up for me, but it's always good to check just in case. You don't want it so that people join your server and they can't verify because you'll get no members. I, I promise you, you'll get zero members if that happens. Anyways, now that I verified it set up correctly, I'm going to go back to the wizard, click on next, and now we have rescue. This is very, very, very important. Basically, if you lose your Discord account or uh, something happens, 
This is basically a key that you put into WIC and it will give you permission to start modifying WIC again. This is very important. Please do copy this key and copy the QR code and save it somewhere safe. Don't save it on Discord, save it on a computer or on a phone. Anyways, once you do that, click on next. Now you might be thinking, oh, this is the end of the setup. I'm good to go. That is very wrong. What you need to do is you need to go back to your server, click on server settings, go to roles and make sure WIC is at the top and make sure quarantine is just right under WIC. So it should look like this, WIC, quarantine, admin, moderator, and you know, all your other crap. However, this is still not the end because if you go to your main page, you will see this security bar and it will tell you what's going on. Basically, this big red bell thing here is saying that people who are moderator or admin can actually just ban people through Discord and WIC doesn't really notice what's going on. Well, it kind of does, but it's just better practice to make sure that your moderators can only ban people through WIC. What does that mean? How do I explain it in uh, normal people terms? Basically, your moderator role should not have permissions to ban or kick people. So if I scroll down, kick or ban, you want to disable those for your moderator. Now, the same thing applies for your admin. If you just gave your admin admin role at the very bottom, it gives them permission to just kick and ban people through Discord. And it's better practice to disable administrator and enable every single permission that you want them to have except for ban and kick members. You want to make sure those are disabled. So it forces everyone on your staff team to do kicks and bans through WIC. Now, if we go back to the WIC dashboard, you might just see, oh, there's two more roles that can natively kick and ban. And those two roles are actually the BMO role and the BMO helper role. And you want to make sure that those are enabled. So you'll never get 100% on WIC, but we got 92, which is a, a really great mark. So don't be too down on yourself. Whoa there, buckaroo, slow down for a second. There's one thing we need to do. We need to make sure that BMO and BMO Helper don't get nuked by WIC. So we need to go to Permits, then we need to click on Create New Permit, and we need to click on Edit, change the general, and make sure we call it like, I don't know, BMO or something, and select our BMO and BMO Helper roles. Once we do that, we need to go to Whitelist, and we need to make sure that they have the Kick and Ban Whitelist. So that means, you know, BMO can mass kick a whole bunch of people and WIC isn't going to get mad and think BMO is some sort of raid bot because once again, we don't want them clashing with each other. We want them working together. That's how a team works, baby. Anyways, click apply click save and kaboom ya yeah, baby that's it so anyways there's a couple more things we need to do we actually need to go to our auto mod and click on settings then go to auto lockdown and enable this basically what's going on is that if someone mass mentions a whole bunch of people so if you get 50 mentions in three seconds so this is kind of like a raid then your server will get locked down which basically means no one can send a message which is very excellent so make sure you keep that enabled that will actually prevent raids just in case bmo doesn't catch them and now finally the last thing we need to do is we need to set up command permissions like oh can we give our moderators permission to kick and ban people and to do that we need to go to permits then we need to select one of our roles or whatever so we have admins and moderators i'm going to go to moderators click edit permit and this is where we get to set up all our permissions with a certain role on WIC. So you have immunity here, which basically gives them permission to either bypass auto mod or give them dashboard access or report immunity so they can't be reported. Basically, the settings that it leaves it at are really good. And if you want more explanation, then uh, just reading things is really helpful. I know, quite surprising. Next up is moderation. And this is where you actually get to pick your command. So you can allow your moderators to kick people, but not ban people. You can quarantine people, all this other stuff. This is where you cut customize the commands. And once you customize them, click apply. And the same thing applies for moderators. You edit the permit, go to moderation, do all that crap. Now lockdown, I was talking about before, this allows your admin to lock down the server and to also lock staff roles and all this other stuff. Once again, just use your eyes and read. It's very self-explanatory. I'm just showing you so you don't forget and you have no idea that these exist because these permissions are actually really helpful and well explained. And finally, the last option is whitelist. Now I'm on my admin role, so this is actually quite important. I want to whitelist that they can create channels. Maybe not delete though. I don't want them to delete a whole bunch of random channels and, you know, nuke all my channels. Role creations, I'll let them create a role, but I don't want them to delete it because I don't want them to delete all my roles. Webhook creations, I would honestly just leave that off. Profanity whitelist and link whitelist, I would enable both of those. And kick ban whitelist, it's up to you. I'm going to enable it and click apply. Then make sure to save it. And once you do that, that's kind of Wix set up. So uh, that's kind of that, that's kind of the video. Now you have a server that is secure as Fort Knox. Uh, people won't get a 25 kill streak and nuke your server, and you won't have a raid, which is great. But this video is sponsored by Ray. That was a joke. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Good luck on your server. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. I love you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.